Hi gang, Scott Davenport here. In this video, I want to talk about the advanced search panel in On One Photo Raw. This is in the Browse module. It used to be called Filters in older versions of Photo Raw in Browse, and it's been changed to Advanced Search. It's a better description. It's less confusing. We don't get confused about develop filters, effects filters, that kind of stuff. This is about searching for your photos. And the reason I want to talk about this panel is I've had a few conversations with some other photographers recently and some confusion around how to use this panel, how to use it effectively, and you know what are its all of its different controls and how they interact. So let's get into it here. So advanced search is in our left hand side here. I'm looking at my catalog folder. So I've got a bunch of different folders, a bunch of different photos here. Uh, first thing about advanced search, uh, let's just divide this into say three sections. The very top section is a few shortcuts and then a bunch of, uh, they're called styles because that's what things are called in here. These are saved searches, right? So you can save searches here. So those will be quick shortcuts if you have a search that you really like. You can save it, click on it, and apply it. The second segment, I'll call this like the top half of searching, where we have likes and dislikes, star ratings, color labels, a time bound, and then a freeform text search. You can search file names or keywords. All of the things that are just textual in the metadata will be searched there. And lastly, whether or not you're searching through the current view of photos you have, or all of your catalog folders. That's this last part here. I can search current photos, all, fo or all folders that are cataloged, and I can now also search individual folders that have been cataloged. I have two catalog folders, processing and travel. I can limit my search to just segments of my catalog. Well, that's a nice, nice little addition. The key thing about this, this top part of the search parameters is as you set things in them, all of the criteria must match or you will not see any photos at all. Uh, let's look at an example of that. Well, like I tell you what, let me finish describing here then. The last part, the advanced section, this is where you can dig further into metadata. You can search for apertures and shutter speeds. There's a whole variety of things that you can look through in here, lots of different metadata. And you have the option to either match all of the settings that you put here, and you can add multiple ones. You can have them match any. So if you're searching for, let's say, photos that are of I don't know, bridges and boats, you could have two text fields down here where I could put in bridges, boats, set it to any, and I would find photos that are either a bridge or a boat. If you have it set to all, you would only find photos that contain both a bridge and a boat, right? So that's the basics of how the search panel works. Now let's, let's do some examples here, and I will start, so let's reset that just so I clear out everything I've done. Let's start by searching this California folder here. And I'll start by saying I wanna find photos of surfers. All right, I've got a few. Now let's take a quick look at some of the metadata here. I've got four stars, none of them have color labels. So if I were to say, show me the surfers that have a certain color label on them. I use color labels to track things through my workflow. Let's just pick green here, what happened? Photos disappeared, I have no matches. Why? Because this top portion of the search area, all of these things must be satisfied to show a photo. I do not have any photos with a green label that have the keyword or the, the phrase surfer associated with it, so I lose out. Another thing that we can do with these searches here is let's look at the advanced area for matching all versus any. Uh, let me take a quick look at each photo here. I'm just taking a look at the aperture. F16, F8, F8. Okay, so let's say I was looking for photos of a certain depth of field. I wanted to find photos of my surfers with F8. I only have two. 
That makes sense, right? The one that was F16, it does not match this criteria I've given it. Now, let's do a search that makes absolutely no sense, but it will serve a purpose. Let's say F16. Now, what I've just told this search to do is show me all the photos that have both an aperture of F8 and F16. That's completely impossible, so it makes no sense, but it will let us illustrate the difference between all criteria or any criteria. And now I see my third set there, right? Because I am looking for photos that have an aperture of F8 or F16. I can clear out my keyword and I'll see that across my entire California folder. I'm finding photos that are either F8 or F16 because I have match any criteria set. Now, uh, the other things we can do with searches, as I mentioned, across your catalog folders. And this is really where searching becomes very powerful because you can search big segments of your photo library. Let me go back up to the travel folder here. As soon as you change folders, you'll notice the advanced search area reset. It's all been cleared out. If I want to search through, uh, let's try to find my best photos here. I'd say four stars. And the very first thing you're going to go, what happened? Everything disappeared. Okay. Remember this setting here, filter current photos. Let me reset. I've highlighted this travel folder. It's a folder of folders. There are no images in the travel folder. It's just a bunch of subfolders. So as soon as I set a criteria, I see nothing. And this is a common uh, you know, surprise where we're thinking, oh, I'm gonna search my catalog folders. I should see all of my four stars across all of my folders. You gotta make sure to go in here and say, hey, search your catalog folders. And now everything from this entire area, including this, uh, this area processing class, all of this stuff is being searched. I can limit that to just my travel area now, which is very nice. So I can see just my travel photos. If you've got other folders you're not interested in searching, you know, pick one of your catalog folders, select it here. You've got that beautiful view there. And now I can do more things like in my workflow, you know, a purple photo is something I'm pretty much finished with. And so I can just get to where are my finished pieces of work. And this might be something useful for me to save. You know, so I could go in here and say, save a new style and I could call it finished photos. And in the future, I'll be able to find my finished photos quite quickly by just choosing that particular search option. I will point out that search option will record what you're searching, searching this travel folder. It's not a generic thing where I can just pick that on any folder I'm looking at. So you do need to take a little bit of care if you're trying to design a search for a more generic kind of match, but honestly, that's what this section is here for. That's what, you know, most of the time you're looking for a generic, I wanna find my best photos uh, in whatever it is I'm looking at. I go back into main, I'm looking at my best photos, I just pick something, do I have any five stars? No, I don't. But you get the, you get the notion here. If I go into Korea, I can see, show me my four stars, all the way on, on down the line. One last thing I'll talk about with the searching is this one little search box that's right up here in the breadcrumbs. That is really the same thing as this search box right here. So I'm looking at a folder of subfolders. There's no photos in here. To go back to my surfer example, right now I see nothing, right? If I go into California, surfer, I get my surfers here. So you'll notice it automatically filled it in into the advanced search. So this is just a shortcut. And if you're looking for any phrase in your metadata, it could be in the description, it could be in the keywords, it could be in the file name, anywhere that you have metadata, you wanna do a quick textual search, pop it into the search bar and you get a jump start on your advanced searching. So uh, try to you know, tie this up and wrap it up. So advanced search, First, think about, well, what am I searching across? It defaults to the current set of photos. So whatever folder you have selected, that's what you're searching. If you wanna search across all of your catalog folders, go into that pick box and choose 
all your catalog folders or a specific subset. In the latest version of Photo Raw, you can choose a specific catalog folder segment. The next thing, the top half of the advanced search area, any criteria you set there, rating, like, color, time bound, everything has to match in order for a photo to be shown. You're searching for very particular things and it's additive, it's cumulative. Four stars plus a green label, plus the word surfer, plus the year 2019 and so on down the line. When you want to do more intricate searches where you're maybe looking for photos of a variety of subjects, forget about the top half, go into the bottom half, set the search criteria to be match any criteria, and then do textual searches for. I used a boats and a bridges example. We saw an aperture example of looking for photos set at a variety of apertures. You can do those types of searches in the lower half. And lastly, you can save your searches. Uh, they're, they're still called styles in that, in that tab there. It's a little bit strange, but that is how you save any searches you're using again and again. I hope this helps demystify what's going on in this search area. Got questions? Drop them below. And until next time, my name is Scott Davenport. Have fun.